In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, one God, amen. Now, all the above sound easy, but putting it into practice, that's another story. Why is it hard to live the life of thanksgiving? Firstly, the life of thanksgiving requires faith. Having faith means that I am confident that what I have now is the best thing for me. If I have an illness, problems with my children or my husband, political problems in the country or financial problems, this situation is the best possible situation for me. That faith. It is the trust that God gives me the best thing that will lead me to heaven. If I think in this way, then the only thing I'll ever say is, thank you, God. And this is what God promised in Romans 8. All things work together for good for those who love God, to those who are called according to his purpose. It is not haphazard. God has a purpose. Everything is 100% by design because you are called to inherit the kingdom of God. Everything is planned. If you have this faith, all your reactions will be giving thanks and nothing but thanks. Since we have the same spirit of faith, according to what is written, I believed and therefore I spoke. Meaning, if I have faith, or if indeed the Holy Spirit is inside me, filling me up with faith, then I will speak just as this psalm says. It says, I believed and therefore I spoke. In other words, I will speak my faith. And what will I say? I will say, thank you, God. Here, to speak means to pray. We speak with the faith we have. When someone is always angry and complaining, it means that he doesn't have much faith. What you say represents what's inside of you. Matthew chapter 12. By your words you will be justified, and by your words you will be condemned. And also in, in Luke. A good man out of the good treasure of his heart brings forth good. And an evil man, out of the evil treasure of his heart, brings forth evil. For out of the abundance of the heart, his mouth speaks. So we will be accountable for our words, not because the Lord cares about external words, but because the words are evidence of what's inside of our hearts. So when all you say is, thank you, Lord, this means that your heart is full of faith. But if there's not thanksgiving, then there's no faith in your heart.